couple days after the lizards hatched. All coming out of this hole here and also a hole here. Turned out to be uh, 64 days after the eggs were laid. Uh, earlier video you'll see we actually caught the last two hours of the female filling in her nest. Uh, literally scattering material all over this whole area here. And you could not tell that she had been there before. It was just a, a lot of work that she had done. About a week ago, um, given that it had been about um, or actually that about four days ago, given it about 60 days that there had been no uh, visit, visible um, emergence of the nest, I dug the nest up and there's a video of that that I can briefly add in the notes um, to see if perhaps they had come out at night, which I was not able to see. So we're going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, the area that the the babies came out and see what the original nest looked like and hopefully we'll get some of the uh, empty uh, eggs and also determine if there's any that uh, were not viable. So we're going to first start digging through here, working our way back this way. From the earlier excavation we know that the chamber was right down at the bottom of that hole so the, most of the lizards came straight up. Fairly loose material. It was not so loose the uh, first time I dug it, so it made it a little bit easier for the little guys. Here is the chamber. Double check to see how much you guys can see of that. Okay. And here we are. We're right at the entrance of the chamber. little bit of discussion of whether this was a granite spiny lizard or a western fence lizard. Uh, when they're in their full coloring it's somewhat easier to tell but when they're muted somewhat, especially sometimes with the females, um, it's not so easy. Okay, We are down in the chamber, right about here. So let's go ahead and come down from the roof of the chamber. So we have an easier, I, uh, rather than try to dig out all the, the uh, shells, we'll just come down on top of it since we know they're not going to need it anymore. Anybody has videos of wild lizards emerging from the nest, I'd like to see them. So far, um, the only two I have seen are the two that I have made in this backyard. Both of them for western fence lizards or granite spiny lizards, it's hard to tell. One year I caught a blotch-sided lizard filling in her nest and I missed the babies. I excavated the, the nest later and uh, found the empty eggs. So I missed the timeline. Perhaps it was an hour after sunset. Uh, last year uh, when I filmed a nest it was literally the last hour of sunset. If it had been an hour later I probably would have missed it all. And also, um, all the babies came out within an hour. This one, the babies emerged over a six-hour period. 
and I caught the first hole. So I know I got all the ones from the beginning. Uh, there's a slight chance. Here is one empty egg sack. back this chamber goes. This is a little pomegranate tree that unfortunately is in the way, but I'm not going to cut it down. second year now from a seed. There's quite a few of, them, of the babies that came out. I didn't count them all yet. Um, there were times where there was one coming out of both holes at the same time. So it's amazing how they all coordinate their, their hatching times. avocado tree about 10 feet in that direction so some of these roots are likely coming from that tree it's about a 15 year old tree Let's see this chamber is going back pretty well Last year, the, the path that the lizard started her making her nest was about 18 inches. And here's another one. And made a 90 degree turn. And the lizards, baby lizards, came up at the turn. So I was focusing at a different area, just like this year. I, I focused about here thinking this is where they would come out and they all came up right along the crest right here so the first two lizards I believe you'll see are um, coming just barely within sight and then when I saw the hole as I walked out to inspect I moved the camera you'll see a change of position Anticipating to get about a dozen of these empty lizard casings. Here's another piece of side root. This is, as you can see, is the actual bowl around a tree, and oftentimes 
that is filled with water in order to water the tree. Well, once I notice that the lizards are making a, um, um, a nest in the area, and I don't want to cause a problem there, is I buried a water bottle with holes punched into it with access to the very top, and then I put my irrigation tube into that. So most of the watering will actually be absorbed underground not throughout the whole basin. I can start here's another little It's just amazing. You know, the first thing these little lizards have to do in life is to <laughs> dig out of a buried alive situation, if you will. And have the instincts to do it and the strength. And I've just been fortunate that it happens during the daylight so I could. Uh, view it. I don't know if that's the case all the time. Well, there was a lot more lizards than that, so there must be a deeper part of this. And here we are. There's three more. Let's count how many we have here now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I seem to think we may have a more. softer dirt just because it's moister. Not seeing anything in the way of a uh, anything 
else. So let's do a little close-up zoom of all those eggs. Those are all the eggs, and let's see if we can get back down into the hole here. Very difficult. Let's see where we actually went. So I would say, I'll give you a nice measurement here in a second. the whole length of the spoon was down there, out to here, and you can see about the length of my hand, <laughs> length of my hand, about how far down it went from here to here. So anyway, that's the end of this excavation, it turned out very interesting. We'll see what we have next year.